All right, on the Bet US show, we had somebody ask about oh, this game. Utah going to Houston, and they asked if this was considered a sicko game. And the way that these two teams have been playing as of late, yeah. Yeah, I think this would constitute being a sicko game. Uh, Utah is currently a three and a half point road favorite, total of 36 and a half. That's right, 36 and a half. Uh, it's like a service academy total. Uh, not this year's service academies, but still. So, as we look at it right now, I've got huge, uh, I've got Utah favored by 6.18. Now, there are still Cam Rising stats baked into this. Um, based on the last four weeks, I would have Utah by five. That's how bad Houston has been. As bad as Utah has been, Houston has been worse. So, uh, let, let's look at when Utah's on offense. They can kind of run the ball. Number 88 PPA per rush, number 84 rushing success rate. Houston, their defense has actually been pretty good against this. Uh, the problem that you get into as far as like efficiency and everything else, Houston is number 111 in turnover margin. Now, Utah is number 92, but, you know, Utah takes the ball away more. They don't turn it over as much, et cetera. Penalties per game, Utah is pretty buttoned up there. Number 10 in penalties per game, uh, Houston is number 90 in that. I mean, it's just... It's gross. This is a gross, gross game. Sometimes when you see staff changes made, like Andy Ludwig decided to resign as the offensive coordinator this week, it's sometimes you can get a bit of a, a dead cat bounce. There's going to be stuff that comes out in this game play call-wise that Houston has not seen. I think that's an advantage for Utah. The strength of schedule, Utah has played number 94, uh, Houston has played the number 43. Even still, I think that Utah is still the better team because of their defense. I don't think Houston is going to be able to get anything on offense. Uh, now watch them score 30 points and just make me look like a complete loon because uh, there is the potential for complete and total team collapse here with Utah based on what all has happened. Uh, Cam Rising is out for the rest of the year, if not longer, maybe forever. Uh, Isaac Wilson is a you know a young, inexperienced quarterback that does have some experience now. I mean, they won at Oklahoma State, but uh, but man, I think that there's a bit of an advantage here for Utah with somebody different calling plays. I'm going to take Utah to cover here. Uh, give me give me the Utes minus three and a half on the road. I don't feel great about it because how could you bet on either of these teams and feel good about them? Uh, but if you're going to do it, the way that I would lean would certainly be Utah minus three and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.